Today I'll be talking about Balloon Fight for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's a very simple game. You can tell by the graphics that it's a first generation NES title. Now, the object is to float around and pop the balloons of your enemies, and once they're popped, hit them to kill them. And if you take too long to kill them, then they will blow up another balloon and fly around again and get to pop the balloon again. Now, uh, to move, you pr tap the A button to flap your arms, and when you flap them, you float in the air. And you can also hold down the B button, and it'll automatically flap continuously. Although, I usually feel I have better control if I just use the A button. Now, you can also pop bubbles to give you bonus points. And you want to avoid letting them pop your balloons. If they pop one, you have less control, and it's harder to float, and if they pop the second one, then you die. But every three rounds, you get into a bonus stage, and when you start the bonus stage, you'll regain the second balloon if you've only lost one. Now, you'll notice there's not too much music in the game. There is some, but there's not a lot. Now, here's the bonus stage. There is music in the bonus stage. Basically, every three stages, you get into the bonus stage, and balloons come out of the pipes. Yeah, there's 20 in total. If you pop all 20, then you get an extra bonus. You also get some points for each balloon you pop. And, like I said before, you regain a second balloon if one of them got popped in the previous rounds. Now, I think this song is great, and it makes up for the otherwise lack of music that the game has. This song is also played in the balloon trip mode in the game, which you'll see shortly. Now, there's not much more I have to say about the one-player game. I mean, uh, it, it's just pretty much the levels get harder, the AI for the enemies gets higher as you progress through the game, and, uh... If you, although, if you do get near the water, you'll see in a minute, is this guy falls? Actually, no, wait, not that guy. That guy right there. A fish comes out and eats him. If you get down near the water there, sometimes it won't, but sometimes that fish will come up and he'll eat you and you can get taken down. And, speaking of dying, there are three way, main ways in this game that you can die. The first way is to get both your balloons popped. Uh, if you get both of those popped, then you'll just fall and you die and it regenerates your life. You have three lives in total, there's no way to get one-ups. So, the second way to die is to fall in the water, whether the fish eats you or if you just fall in. And the third way to die is a little bit different. If After a certain amount of time spent in the level, which as the levels go on, that amount of time will get shorter, it, you can see those clouds there. After a little bit of a while being in this level, they'll flash and you'll see a lightning bolt come out and it'll shoot out this little spark and if that spark hits you it's instant death now see it flashes right there there's a lightning bolt spark hits you and you're dead and that's pretty much it for the one player game now the two player game is just like the one player game except there's two players out there, and you can play cooperatively, or you could try to attack the other player and take out all his lives. Then there's my favorite mode, Balloon Trip. This is just a one-player game. Basically, it's an infinitely scrolling level where you just float through and c pop balloons. The more balloons you pop, the more points you get. The longer you just keep going in the level, the more points you get. And if you can collect all... a bunch of balloons in a row without missing any, then you'll get a little, like, victory song, and it'll upgrade the balloons so that when you pop them, they'll be worth more points, and you also get bonus points when it does the upgrade. And they'll upgrade from blue to orange and then to red. Once they're red, they won't get any higher, but you will still get the little upgrade fanfare, and when it does that, you'll still get some bonus points. Now... You can see here, you're trying to avoid all the sparks that you see shot out of those clouds before. So, everything in this game, in this version is instant death. Oh yeah, and it plays that awesome music too. Now, as far as replayability goes, it's not that replayable because it can be kind of repetitive. I personally like to play it a lot. I try to get a better high score, but... Even with the two-player, the replayability isn't helped much. Overall, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. 
being a first generation NES title, it's definitely lacking in some areas, such as the graphics, but for the most part, it's still a good game. It's simple, but fun, and it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, if it comes out on the virtual console, I'd take a look at it.